Oh, we're going to another. We're going to a boss now. We have to be going to Dracula. It's always the stairs. It's always the like... staircase. No, remember they threw us for a loop in the beginning of the game because this game had. We're essentially in the first stage again because only it's blue now instead of red. Huh. Ah, okay. Die, monster! You, you don't, don't belong in this world. Oh, I hate death. Ah, now there's. Watch out! It's Godzilla's worst enemy, the Grim Reaper. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is essentially Tarot a boss cards. Rush. I thought they were iPhones. Tarot cards. This one is... What was that Tower Fifteen? Yeah, they're tarot cards. It's a, well, it's a tarot or tarot. Oh, uh, shit. Not the shit. Aerodactyl? It's a recolored aerodactyl. So the red one was a shiny? Yeah. Oh, I want to hold on to it as much as I can. I know. Because if I hit it twice, I break it out of its phase. Oh. Damn. Uh, Goodbye, Twin Blasters. Yeah, <laughs> fuck you. It's exactly <laughs> like that. Like, I just lost my wing. <laughs> Luckily, they die really fast. Yeah. It's not a true boss. Half rush. defense? Yeah, the half defense, exactly. If you lose at any point, do you got to fight them all again? No. So, uh, Drac uh, Dracula, Grim Reaper <laughs> does keep your progress. Okay, so it's like each boss you beat is a checkpoint. Yeah, they're each following it. Yeah, that's the High Priestess. Which was the high priestess and then the two knights. Oh no. So for some reason except Oh the shit monster. The Golgothian. <laughs> yes. Whatchamacallit? But apparently since um there's really no correlation between the actual tarot cards and the monsters they're fighting it over, they're just tarot cards there for the sake of tarot cards. Yeah, Enjoy. exactly. It's there to look cool. Right. Oh, that is a kind of poker. It's poker night, and I'm getting in the way of that. Well, then. <laughs> I'm gonna. All right, I got three of a kind. Is there bridge death? Night? That's uh, you have a pair of kings, and that's the star card. We don't use the tarot cards in poker night for the ninth fucking time. No, it's <laughs> it's bridge night. <laughs> yeah, that's why. He, that's how he got there. There was a bridge he crossed first. <laughs> Okay. Yes! Round three. Hopefully I get the meat. Oh, shit. Frankenstein? Well, Frankenstein's monster? <laughs> you got death. <laughs> wow. The Joker. Uh, <laughs> Joker Doom. Mm. Ah, that the platform. Bad, yeah, do it. You, can, you can reach the middle platform when you do that jump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's... The end. No, you won. <laughs> Did I really? <laughs> what, what cost? Cool. That's Thank too you. much. Me save state. Yeah, no, I'm safe there. <laughs> Let's do this for realsies now. Just conservative. There you go. That's it. Just, get, just fight. Nah. Is there more to this? I feel like no. Part. Death only had one phase. Okay. Well, the the other part is considered the first phase, I yeah. guess. All right. I think this is the last. Health, please. Another flight of stairs. I, I think this is the last one. I didn't know there'd be stairs. So or so many of them. Be nice for some health. Oh. Elizabeth. Oh! I would move away. No, no. Um, if you stay, oh, okay. if you stay close right. to it like that, you, you can avoid it. Except that you have to jump, <laughs> you have to jump over that. <laughs> and that. Then it just tries to dirty touch it. I don't know what the, <laughs> what the fuck that's supposed wow. to be. How pervy is that? It's the dirt. It's the pervy dirty touch. All right, two fire beams. Then you jump over the t the tail sting. And then it's just that backward moving. And here and comes the touching. Touch, yeah. Very easy pattern the to read. The naughty touch. She wants to give me a high five. Okay, this should be the easier phase because uh, there's the Medusa part and then there's the... I'm going to just keep spamming teleportation. Yeah, skippy to woo at. So it summons orbs, four of them, which means we have to hit her four times to get the orbs to stop. Of course. 
Ow. Or <laughs> that can ro- happen. She threw a rock at you. That's fine. <laughs> if we take too long to hit her <laughs> four times, then we're going to get hurt, like, big time. It was a big rock. <laughs> I know. That's what I'm imagining, too. That's why it's so goddamn funny. There is a bit of slight AI manipulation I am doing here. Yeah, yeah. you're basically... Pl- it's not really AI manipulation. It's just her AI doing what it's supposed to do. In other words... If you go like one too too far in one direction or the other, well, she'll work to the well, other opposite, if, opposite well, that's, side. That's why I'm manipulating. Yeah, if it, you're yeah. on right. the left half of the screen, she'll appear on the right, with the line being right down the middle. So yeah, so don't immediately call, go yeah, to the don't right. Don't immediately go to the right because then she'll disappear. Or you could just go to the right, make her appear on the left, and go right back. Like yeah. keep going back and forth, but you'd be a little bit quicker doing it that way. We're back to four. The teleportation time also gets a little faster on her, though. That's no problem for Eric Licardi. <laughs> <laughs> what are the red orbs? Summon? What's up, ladies? I'm Eric Licardi, and I love the Bacardi. <laughs> you just turned into a frat boy douche. <laughs> That's why I call my junk the Alucard Spear. <laughs> <laughs> He's such a douchebag. <laughs> He's a total douchebag. There you go. And that's it. That's the end of the fight. Nice. Okay. We won. Holy Dude. shit. It's not over. What a waste of a dress. Now she you just was, wear it all. It falls wait. on you, and then you wear it. <laughs> and then, and then. She, now I'm Elizabeth. <laughs> she was a Jedi? <laughs> Elizabeth Lacard. Yeah, Elizabeth. She was a Jedi. Oh. Hey. Do, do, do. Simon's theme. We're fighting Simon? No. <laughs> they just play Simon's theme for some reason here in this. I guess because it's the, kind the of game, menacing, though. I, I guess because the game before this was Super Castlevania 4, which introduced Simon's theme. So feels like you know what we can we, you know we got we, we know you guys like that here it comes again oh here it is we want to give you guys what you like it, stay, stay. here we go after the save here we go blah but he doesn't belong in this world so we're gonna take him out of it oh hi Eric oh what the fuck <laughs> it took him five this games one to... looks noticeably more feral. Took him five games, he finally figured out how to angle them up. Yeah. Ouch! <laughs> I'm guessing there's gonna be another phase oh, after course. this one. Wouldn't be Dracula without multiple phases. Fortunately, if you can get the jump on him right before as he launches it, you'll hit the projectiles yeah. in his head at the same time. Of course, you know, he, he spruced up his game just a tad bit since, you know, Castlevania 1. A tad. See, that's what we want to do. We yeah. want to hit him in the head and neutralize his projectile at the same time. No matter what comes out of his hand, you'll neutralize it. So timing is key. Your spear tastes like my son. All right, Ew. phase two. <laughs> <laughs> that was weird. I thought this was the Arcardi speed. I don't know why. It's just funny as shit seeing him nonchalant with the transformation. He's death? He's shaft. Shaft? Shaft? Oh, okay. It's direct. Okay, that wasn't the real Dracula. The real Dracula is when you do it on hard mode. <laughs> <laughs> You're not true ninjas yet, Eric Lacardi. <laughs> oh, when you play it on hard mode, it's the Alucard spear, not the Alucard spear. Uh, this phase though is not much to be honest. It's not. He doesn't it, do it's anything. It's a three-trick pony. Ah! Unfortunately, not much you can do about it. Those fireballs desync. You know, but that right there, that's pretty easy to avoid. Alright, final phase. You know what? If I... I will use a... That sounds really obnoxious. Yeah. If I'm going to use a save here, because if I play my cards right and hit it in the dick enough times... <laughs> you can no damage this easily. Whoa! Oh. See, so basically this is a... He has a monster vagina! That's, he does. It literally eats the pussy. Yeah. <laughs> how how uh, uh how fraudulent stabbing a monster in its vagina with your felt with your thrustic spear. I saved. 
<laughs> well, it's fine because the Dracula fight is not really that big. Well, you know what? You you were like one hit away from death. That yeah. wasn't going to happen. I thought I killed death. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, but it takes many yeah, iterations. You killed death. Shouldn't you be invulnerable now? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A question I ask myself every Castlevania. That is Freudian as shit. <laughs> the thing is that you can hit those projectiles. Yeah. So once you find a way, place to safely hit both him and the projectiles, you can no-hit him. Directly below him is a good bet. Very phallic. Very phallic, yes. I mean, Freudian. Isn't this like Vagina Dentata? Right? No. That's the name of it, isn't it? Vagina Dentata is when you have teeth. A monster is vagina. Have teeth. That's not teeth? No. <laughs> that has teeth, like teeth, yes. Oh, God, you, you hit it straight in the dick. It's pissed now. It's burning right in the STD. <laughs> Oh, now it's yeah. just like flexing up and down like an accordion. Oh, yeah. Nice. Hold on. Easy. I know this, not this, this phase sucks. I don't like this phase at all. I don't like it. You got him. There you go. Nice. Ow. Then he just throws out of nothing, this and that's it. <laughs> Teardrop. Well, there's some shit that hurt you. <laughs> <laughs> one last hit. It's a, it's a one hit kill. If it's if you can move during it, not a Kaiser. No, not. Well, it doesn't matter if it's not a Kaiser or not. If it looks like it's dick dead. Dick move. Yeah, dick move. But not yeah. a Kaiser. Like I said, Kaiser. <laughs> not a Kaiser. Considering where it came from. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, it's bright out there. Yeah. <laughs> Oh shit, I was out all morning? <laughs> yeah, that was all me. Ooh, the morning sun has vanquished oh, a terrible night. Now goes, I'm blonde again. There goes Angel Island again. And now you're blonde. Look at that vortex below us. Like, what are we standing on? Either clouds or water. Thus, Eric has fulfilled his destiny as a vampire hunter. Not for long. All right. Yeah, toodles. <laughs> yeah, <right? laughs> there is a, there is an extra scene that plays after that when you play it in expert mode. But hey, it, uh, it's, just, late. <laughs> it, it, it's just you know pretty much like now Eric Lacard is like a, a true vampire hunter or some shit like that. So you get an extra picture. That's about it. Oh, okay. I don't know why this thing's cracking me the fuck off right what, here. What armor battler? <laughs> yeah, armor battler was great. Guy. No, no, no. It's, it's like the way he's just there, like with the Christ, like and it's yeah. this dish head, yeah. and it's this douchebag. <laughs> Everybody's got a thing on guess these programmers. <laughs> they have a trap and enemy programmer. Raise the roof! Yeah. This is Golem. This is, this is named Golem. This is named Rock. It looks like a Golem. What do we call him? Golem. Golem. <laughs> Bada bing. We'll make millions. We don't gotta, <laughs> gotta be creative. Not too much. My moon! <laughs> uh, my moon. Hey, what's Bummin. Go hey! I like my the moon. other guy's name. Bummin. Yeah. <laughs> and Meatball Gargoyle. Clockwork Knight. Yeah. <laughs> I just <didn't laughs> love that that was his name. No. Gear Steamer. Gear Steamer. <laughs> just like, I, don't, I don't recall <laughs> any steam at all. Richard yeah, Gear. Right. He should have been Richard Gear. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Richard <laughs> Gear. <laughs> yeah, but then he went, yeah, but then, God forbid, you'd have to see something with a gerbil. Mothra. It should be Mothra, but it's not Mothra. Or Bitterling. It's Moth Ula. Moth Ula. No, it's Princess, Princess of, of Moss. Moss. Uh, okay. Shouldn't oh, it be Moth? Okay. Like Princess of Moth? Uh, yeah. Well, we that already know like the obvious. We now. already know who this is. Yeah. Jim. Yeah. <laughs> Jim the Grim Reaper. Yeah. Hey, Jim. Jim Reaper. Death the Jim Reaper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like you. And of course, the one and only Elizabeth Barkley. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I like uh, Elizabeth Barkley. Should have had a chaos dunk. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> you're gonna save state. You're gonna save state. No here? shitting. My finger slipped. <laughs> Medusa. That's really? It? Ellie, you, you've played God of War one. You've seen that being Medusa's. I don't recall Medusa having rocks for a tail. And there's a fly on the TV. Those are bats. I think there's yeah, those, to be those there. are bats. No, literally, there's a fly on the TV. I'm Dracula. Blah. Blah. Then I love this track. Yeah, it's a, it's a it's a great theme. Yeah, uh, the the soundtrack of Castlevania Bloodlines was actually uh, compiled with Tracks the Dracula fuck. X uh, Rondo of Blood soundtrack too. For some reason, they bundled up together. I don't know why. Because uh, they're both Dracula. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> but uh, yeah, 
That said, folks, that's the end of Castlevania Bloodlines for the Sega Genesis. The only Castlevania game I ever see on a Sega system at all. Yeah. And the only Castlevania game, to my knowledge, from this console's era that hasn't been re-released in any format. Hmm. Huh. You know? So you have to get a Genesis and cartridge or to get, like, a, a, a legit copy of this game or you just use emulators like we did. It was never uh, Xbox it Live was never, or... No. It was never re-released anywhere. Huh. Not even here or Europe. Not even but on a Wii Virtual not, Console. No, not even Wii Virtual Console. Hey, wow. but in Europe, though, you know it's something else. Vampire Killer. Uh, no. Um, no. Castlevania, Castlevania the, new, the generation. new Generation. Ah. Because this game went through a bit of censorship in, uh, for European countries. Yeah. Not only the, that, though, but I do like the name in a way. They're both kind of the same thing, but the next generation kind of sounds like the next... Dracula's offspring yeah. trying to revive him. Well, they both insinuate the same thing. Yeah, because right. your bloodline is your yeah. is your descendants, your heritage. Yeah. Which, but blood works better with the Castlevania theme. Yeah, because so you know. Yeah, and then this was all blue. This was all blue when it said new generation. Yeah, and yeah, it did. A uh, European version did go through so a bit of censorship. There was also a bit of graphic. I mean, it's really weird that we're talking about this at the end of the game, but whatever. Uh, some graphics were altered in this version of the game as well because Eric Lacart. Actually, if you compare this to the original Japanese version and the European version, his face was a little more feminine. Yeah, in the huh. European and Japanese, which never version. really seemed. I, I don't which, know. If, it I don't, I guess, sell well I guess, over here. Yeah, because I think I don't think like well. they think the American gamer is not going to dig the idea by showing. And what is that? You can join the girly man. He's yeah. He should be <laughs> yeah. tough, firm. So they they, so they, they toughened up this face. Yeah. Man, this face up. Yeah, which you looked better. Here's, here's a comparison. I'll post better. a comparison right here on the screen. It did. And look uh, essentially, that's what they did for the American version of the game. But but yeah, that's Castlevania Bloodlines, folks. Uh, it's uh, I think it, it's worthy enough to, for a Castlevania title, and you should definitely consider adding it to your collection if you're a Castlevania diehard fan. But that's it. We're, we're done with that. We're now heading into my favorite classic Vania after this. And it's Castlevania Rondo of Blood. Nice. For <laughs> will we be playing the PC Engine version? We're playing the PC Engine okay. version. Oh shit. We're gonna do both versions at some point. PSP version. Because they are different games. Yeah. But we're gonna start with you know, we're gonna start on the high in the totem pole. Yeah. And then we're gonna go down. Yeah. And then we're gonna go back up again. <laughs> More on that later. I can't wait for it. I love Rondo of Blood. I'm, co- I'm probably going to... 95% of my commentary of Rondo of Blood is probably just going to be humming the music. Yeah. Because it's music. so... Gr- oh, so fantastic. But <laughs> hey, we hope you guys enjoyed Castlevania Bloodlines for the Sega Genesis for Halloween Fest 2016. Stay tuned for more. With all that said, I'm Johnny. I'm Elliot. I'm Matt. And I'm Greg. We are the Super Garen Brothers. Have yourselves a fantastic night. And take care. Fuck me. This eyelash is right in my eye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck you in the eye with the eyelash? No, then who fucks me in the eye with the eyelash? Fi- uh, we'll find out next time on SGV. <laughs> <laughs>